Hey, my honey, so today, okay, I know it has been so long, but, okay, I have been trying to get everything organized because we about to get into them cold months, so we ain't gonna do nothing but record every day, okay? We have nothing else going on, and another thing is that KJ, oh, KJ is so young that he doesn't understand. And we know that's what we get out of the kids or whatever. So with that being said, he's into everything right now. So when I'm trying to do this, he's all up in it wants all type of parts, okay? And when I leave that alone, he don't want nothing to do with it. And then when I go off to do that, here he come to do that. So it's like, I don't get nothing done. And if I don't let him participate, he cries, he whines, he wants it his way or no way or the highway. And guess what? Oh my God. That alone, okay, will just make you just have a, a shutdown, a breakdown, okay? But I I wasn't able to just sit and record and do my makeup and all that with my honeys, but I was still able in the background, okay, to get other things together for us because this is going to be the beginning of our empire, okay? So, thanks to my honeys, you know, for giving me all type of advice on websites this then and thought I had people on Instagram like where's your website like girl you should have been had that together and all type of stuff so it just made me think like mm, maybe it's something that I'm supposed to be doing and I'm not and I was just completely fine with sitting recording every day but with a new baby it's kind of hard so I'm like okay well let me figure this out okay I spoke on this website in many videos it took me four months to do it somebody stole my money before and it was done and they took it back and never gave me my money and all type of stuff so we've came a long way we have came a long way this video today from the thumbnail is gonna be another half up half down but okay um i was supposed to show my honeys how i sold in the ponytail remember from the um the last genie ponytail video I did, which I'll link somewhere. And you guys can go and check that out because today we're gonna focus on the ponytail itself, okay? So my hair right now, I have already braided it and I can't even tell you guys, I can't even lie to you guys to say how long I had my hair like this, look. I literally had my hair like this for like a week now, okay? I am about to go off into getting some braids, so literally i wanted to get this video out before i did the braids i'm going uh in a couple days to get some braids so it's like i won't even be able to sh make the video and why did i do my hair like this is for the video so i don't care i'm going to do it just for my honeys and have it in for two days and then i'm taking it out getting my braids okay i'm gonna give me some knotless um anywho I am focusing on that. You guys have seen me, you have not seen me sew anything on the back of braids like this. If you want to see that, let me know in the comments and I'll get that together as well, okay? But last time I had this pattern, I had did clip-ins, right? So now I'm actually gonna be sewing in some bundles. So I don't know if y'all remember that hair I had before, my first ever review, my honey. It was summer hair, okay? And these were bundled. They gave me that closure. They gave me all 18 inches. And I just, I had took it out and just put it back in its little wrappings, right? This is the closure. We're not using that at all. But I have three bundles here. I don't want to cut my bundles. I think I'm going to do the little flip method or whatever. Uh, I, do, I do think that we need an updated flip method type of sewing video. So, yeah. If you want to see all of that, just leave me a comment. We're going to make it happen. I don't care how long it takes me. I don't like to cut my bundles because, you know, maybe I just want to wear it one day with my closure again. But since they're all the same length, like every last one of them is 18 inches. And that's what I mean to tell you all about my uh, boxes. I keep my stuff so I can know pretty much what's what. You know, if I just had hair hanging everywhere, I would not know the half. So I have every box I ever had. And that's where every wig is in. So I'm organized with that at least. But we got the three bundles, so I may have to cut it, okay? And I only feel comfortable with it is because they're all the same length. So 
That being said, it doesn't matter later down the line if I go to sew them in. And so that hair was so good. Like, if y'all remember, I'm gonna put the video when I did my, um, what was it, furniture hunting? That's the hair that I had in. So I'm gonna link that up there somewhere too. But that hair was good. Like, oh my, it was not a tangle. You could rub your hands through it, all of that. So with that being said, um, I am probably gonna have to cut this because I'm gonna do a bundle and a half in the back and a bundle and a half for the pony. Give it a little fullness, but it's not gonna be that full because I want it to stand up. I wanna do the, you know, the wraparound thing and have it high. Okay, my honey, so what you're gonna need is a comb. And yes, my honey, this is my comb. It's a braiding comb because you got your little tip and it's very skinny and precise. Okay, very skinny and precise. And then you have your in here. So I rough draft. I go in with my comb and get my parts together. And then once I see and map it out, I go in with the tip and then I actually straighten it or whatever with you know the um the gel that I use to braid. But this ain't about braiding today. So I am going to part out what I need to hang over the back with the comb. And if you do like this comb, my honey, it is on the website, which is down in the description, with so many other things, okay? With this book as well, okay? So I have been so off track and so unorganized, my honey, that I have to come out with some books. <laughs> And ain't pants, we ain't gonna forget about her. So I have been, you know, it's just a notebook, regular notebook. But I have started already taking my notes, okay? Writing down things that I need to do and getting back organized. Remember I told you guys before, you need notebooks, you need paper. You probably could use, you know, your phone and do it like that, but I'm old school. So I need to write and see and look. I need to check off what I have done, what I have, you know. <laughs> I need to see it visually. So books is my best friend at this point. So I just really made my honeys a beauty tip book, okay? It's for your tips. You know, you're on YouTube all day watching stuff, okay? You need to know. Oh, she said use what? Oh, okay. What she slicked that? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, you need to write it down. You need to know. So, yes, when you watch it, when you in Kale's Nation, honey, you ain't got to be confused. I'm going to you write it down, rewind it, and make sure you get it, okay? And then when you're watching anybody else on YouTube, it's good for that as well. And it has the pens. They're on the website as well, honey. And I just keep my little pen in the thing because this is exactly how I keep it together. It's trying to be organized, okay? That's for the ponytail and also for me to sew the back end, but we are gonna do that at a later time. But you need a whole thing. I need to start getting bigger once the big tall road is like, okay. So you need that and some free spray. So when you go to wrap the piece around or whatever and then a blow dryer. So when you dry, you know, the little piece or whatever, so. Yes, my honeys, I am not no longer having difficulties with my hair, but it is still in the process of growing back. And I cannot wait to tell my honeys what has been going on with that. I do have footage and videos, and then we will understand what happened, why it happened, and all of that extra stuff. But um, it took me from, from sugar. I, I came from sugar back to, sh okay. And then back to sugar, and now I'm on some, you know, sugar. Okay, so it's like, it's just so many changes. But we'll talk about that also at a later day and what I use to actually kind of help grow my hair back. But for right now, I'm going to go ahead and get my ponytail together and get everything ready, set, go, so we could just sit here and sew down the ponytail, sew the ponytail on. Yes, my honeys, I did go and get my stamp decorated, okay? So I just wanted to do like a half a sleeve, and I basically, you know, made it something like towards my zodiac. So that's the two ladies, okay? And then my little zodiac sign. I got some clippets that I could put up on the little snap 
um, on YouTube if you guys are interested to see it. I didn't really make a video, but that tattoo was no joke, okay? <laughs> it was no joke. It's not even done. So if you guys have any suggestions of what I should add, in that little open space by the elbow let me know because we're still trying to figure out what to put there but he got to put color to it and everything so let, leave me a comment let me know guys what you think So here we go, getting these edges nice and laid, okay? So we're going to go in with the headband. So these will definitely positively give you the nice flat edge that you are looking for. No reverting and all of that. So these are my custom headbands at this point, my honeys. And the design I used from um, basically my graphic designer. And I'll leave everything about her down in the description because she is okay, my honey. So it's low key the next day. <laughs> so you're gonna need these paper strips as well, okay? Because we have basically molded our ponytail, and this is gonna be our structure to make sure the um, ponytail has something to stand up and and not be flimsy. That wrapping this paper around is going to also help that, okay? Just make it like taut and, you know, sturdy. So I'm going to spray it. Make it more flexible. I think I get the white ones because they're cheaper. But the black ones are supposed to be like thicker. More durable. You stretch on these white ones too much, they'll just rip on you. But that's completely fine with me. Cause I now at this point I know how not how far not to stretch them. So you could secure that with the blow dryer. Oh wow. Uh, as that um spray dries on there, it will become more tight and sturdy and all that good stuff. I'm looking for some rubber bands here. But once you have that said and done, if you want, you could go in and below dry it because to speed up the drying process. So when it comes to knowing the height of this thing, um, it depends on how far you want to wrap your hair around, okay? That little piece that's going to hide the track down there, it depends on how high you want to wrap that because what you don't want to do is make this too high and then that little piece stops right here. Now you got all this hair right here that's going to hang back, but it's not going to just hang flowy. It's going to look like something's in there and then it's, it's not going to look right. So you typically just want this the height of where you're going to wrap that thing, okay? So once you get to wrapping that um, piece of hair around the base, you bring it up. You don't go past this. And then you, you know, bring it back down and secure it. But we about to do all of that. So as of right now, we are going to sew this ponytail in. I did the back. I so happened to only have used one bundle, okay? <laughs> Then we're going to put one whole bundle up here, which will hang with that and make it appear thicker anyway. And also, if the ponytail is too thin, just with one bundle, I have a half of one um, that I'm going to wrap with it. But they've been wearing them pretty thin lately. Like just one thin little pony. And I prefer that over, um, you know, the thick one. And you don't have to have bundle hair, my honeys. You can go and get some good commercial hair from the hair store. Okay, it just gets pricey the longer length you get. 
Okay, it gets pricey with color, whatever colors. You know, the cheapest one is basically 1 or 1B, one but it gets pricey, okay? Because right now, I'm sending clients to get 10 inches, 12 inches, and they asking for like $30, $40 for that. So with that being said, um, if you go off into getting, you know, something long enough. Ooh, that rubber band pop, but it's fine because I dried it, okay? Ooh, thank God. But you want a long pony, right? So that's when you probably will go into the extended pony, which you will be wrapping around the braid. Get you like a 12 inch hair, okay? 12 to 14 inches and braid this, some weave, okay? And then start wrapping from the bottom of the weave on up and around to here. It will hang long, okay? And that's how long you will want your braid to be. Put that track at the bottom of that braid and just see how long it hangs to your butt or whatever. And then you will say, okay, yeah, I need to braid that long. And, and then you start wrapping from there. That usually takes about a pack, maybe a pack and a half, depending on how thick you want it. But we all know that bundle hair just flows, okay? It just, it's more wind flowy, as I would say, okay? I take my bundles, I'm just gonna say hair. I have bundles, but like I said, you could get any hair. And I'm gonna go right through that width. It's secure, locked and loaded. You don't bring your needle all the way through. Make sure it's through both tracks. You don't want um, to put your needle all the way through yet. Because if you go up here and place it, you want to be able to, if you don't get it right, take it out and do it again. But if you put the needle all the way through the track, you got to cut that thread all the way out and redo that part. You don't want to have to do that. But what we're doing is, we want the track to start from up here at the top, top of the top of your thing, right? So, and then continue to wrap it around with thread. Now this is pretty easy with bobby pins, but them bobby pins is a headache, they hurt. Since I have this thing on there, this paper, I could use glue, but you guys wanted to see how I thread it. So since my track has to lay flat this way, I'm putting my needle in that way. I am just going to stick this needle directly through the top right here and pull it through when you pulling it through make sure it's at the top it's coming out right there now you just pull it all the way through try not to loosen or weaken your ponytail we're going to start wrapping from here so this is my needle Keep your hairs organized, keep them tracks aligned, okay? This is the needle coming out the back of that, which secured that, okay? You always bring your needle around the way that you'll be wrapping the hair. So we bringing this around like that way, my honey. I'm grabbing it from the back so that I can keep this part flat down because all it's going to do is flop up like that because it's not secure yet. So I'm grabbing it from the back. I'm gonna swing it around, keeping it aligned. That's secure, that's not going anywhere. I'm bringing my needle around that way. And then I'm gonna secure that down. I'm gonna bring this thread around and wrap it twice. That locks and loads it, my honey. Once you get past this top part, it becomes so much easier because after that, you just wrapping around the base. So now I have that secured. That's not going anywhere. I'm going to hold this hair where I want it. Soon when I let it go, it's going to flop over. I'm bringing that around, getting that out my way. Or my needle. I'm 
Okay. Here's my needle. I'm going to bring it around. I'm holding it with my hands behind it because I don't want it to get to slip and slide everywhere. But I brought this needle around. Boom. Now when I go to stick this needle in, I could go straight up towards the top of the thing. Or you could turn it sideways and force it on through. At some point you're gonna have to turn it sideways, so. Whew. You see where it came out? Right there. Now before I bring it all the way through, I wrap that around twice. And then I bring it through. It just makes it easier to, to work with your needle. That makes a little knot. You gotta push that knot down and lock and load that. That's locked and loaded. Now we go ahead and proceed to bring this hair around. Long as you stay organized, keep your needle where you can see it. I don't care if you have to put it in your mouth. But hold on to that needle because it'll get tangled in that hair and then you don't know what the heck going on. But we want to secure this back side down right here. The higher you start this pony up here, you will not see your ball hanging out, okay? So that's what we're doing. You don't ever just start down here at the base because your whole ball will hang out that top, my honeys. And then that's just not cute. Staying organized, got my needle right here. I gotta wrap this hair around. I'm gonna always make sure I stroke it together to keep it aligned where it needs to be. Now, I need to uh, get this side down, but I need to find this needle, which I'ma find it from the back way, my honeys, cause I'm bringing it around. You bring it around the same way that you wrapping your hair. Now I got my needle over here. I'ma hold this tautly and then I'm gonna secure down this back. I don't know where it's coming out, but I got my needle turned sideways. There you go. When you do it, you will see why I'm saying it's sideways, because you can't go straight up. then it'll be coming out the top of the ball and you don't want that because now when you go to tighten it you tighten all this hair with it and it's going to go down like that so you don't really want to make it come out the top that's secure I'm running out of thread Phew. I feel like we got that top part pretty secure what you do is you open it up and see you see how some more that will look in there? Nobody will really notice that or see that once everything come together. So now we could just start wrapping this baby around. We going down the dang on thing, but I'm, I'm getting tired, a little tired. <laughs> but you always bring your pen around the way that you're working. 
But we secure all of that over there. We got to secure this over here. My needle is turned sideways. It's turned sideways and it came somewhere out the back right here. So I'm going to take this thread and I'm going to wrap it three to four times because I have to be done with this thread, okay? Now that's just going to lock and load that thread so that I don't have to worry about it unraveling because I'm about to cut it. I just push down that knot. Okay, my honey, so if you got two or three needles, you can already have them ready, set, go. I have two of them sitting right here, and I don't have them ready, set, go. So I'm just read the red and the one that I have. There go some good tips, though, that I'm giving y'all. That's why y'all need y'all notebook. When you're doing this type of ponytail, you want to wrap your needle around the same way that you're wrapping the track. And you also will want to turn your needle sideways when you're putting it in because you don't want to put it in straight up. It will come out the top of this. And you're you're securing this track all the way down here, all the way from up here. You know, that all that string will just mess up the pony. So when you turn it sideways, it's going to come out here. Or it's going to come out there. And it's going to come out from the top. And then that would be pretty much that and do you want to wrap the hair around holding it in place if need be especially when you're at the top part because um it will slide and move around on you and that's not what you wanted now when you get down to that base all you're doing is a tedious thing at this point you just wrap and so wrap and so okay so i'm gonna show y'all you don't ever want to put your thread okay too long for your arm length so take your arms and stretch them as far as they go out and that's how long your thread should be for you okay because if you do it any longer then it's too long and now when you're doing it you got to stretch and do all that and that makes this ponytail way more complicated because them arms get to burning we got to get our needle back in there Get organized, see what's going on. We need to probably secure that right there. But since I'm doing it on my own head, I ain't gonna let that bother me. I'm gonna start where it's comfortable. <laughs> I'm gonna start right here. And I'm gonna put it through the wefts because we're starting fresh. Make sure it's going through both tracks, because if not, one track will be sitting there uh, hanging up out of your ponytail. So I got that through both tracks. I'm going to turn that needle sideways, and I'm going to go through this braided ponytail. It's going to come out the back somewhere. It popped out right there. Okay. Now I am going to... I didn't put the needle all the way through because now at this point I got to get organized. So what I need to do is take the thread. I am taking the thread from the needle. I found the needle. I am taking this thread, bringing it back up under everything around the same way that I am wrapping my uh what's the name and then I can wrap it twice I got a knot at the end my honey so technically you could just pull that needle straight on through because it ain't going nowhere that's when you first put it off in there you just pull it straight through. It's locked and loaded. Now you wrap your needle around. Same way you're doing the track. 
and then you bring your track around. You want to keep your thread underneath everything as well because that'll be an easier way to find it. So when you go to wrap this around, your needle is right here. I like to keep it in my mouth so therefore I don't lose it because you'll get tangled up in this hair my hand. Nobody wants to go through that. So I got that secure. I kind of need to probably hit it in the back. So I can bring this on around the needle and hit it from the back. I got to turn it sideways at this point. Okay, I got that needle through. I'm gonna wrap this on around twice. I got to secure that knot, push it on in. Finally, we made it to the base. That's gonna be the easiest part of this ponytail. <laughs> Whew. You could go a couple of wraps and and then so okay you don't have to just so every time you go around like at the top so once I go around so many times I like to secure it right here at the base you have to turn that needle sideways that's what I mean by sideways you see how it's laying flat like that you have to turn it sideways because if you Put it in straight up. Look where that needle will come out at up there, and you don't want that. Now I'm going to take the thread and wrap it twice, making sure ain't no hairs getting caught up in there, and then I'm gonna pull it through. Lord knows, I don't know what's going on, but I ain't even trying to figure it out. Okay, so I got my needle. If you see a track somewhere not right, now's the time to go in and kind of tighten it and do it like that. Because as you continue to wrap this here, you're not going to see any ugly like that. So fix it while you see it. Because when you get all the way to the end, there is no fixing. You want everything organized, my honey. I'm going to secure this back, turning my needle sideways, wrapping it twice. I'm bringing my needle around because I'm going to start securing on this side too. I'm pulling it tautly because you, you want your ponytail nice and tight. You don't want it loose and flimsy. Especially if you have, you know, short hair or thin hair like I have right now. So I got that over that way. I'm going to secure it with the needle. I have to put that needle in underneath the track okay and come up and out but my needle is turned sideways and then I push it and you see it came out right there in the back then I pick that thread up and then I wrap it twice and then I pull it through and push down your little knot that just secured that okay that's pretty much what you're gonna do from this point forward. We're wrapping this whole pony. You can wrap it a nice good two to three times before you have to go in with that. Now 
making sure all your hairs is aligned. See, that track was twisting. I got to turn that straight. Meanwhile, my needle is just dangling here. Okay, they ain't went nowhere. Okay, that's, I'm, I'm going in for the kill. I'm going to tighten it off into the front. Because what I noticed, my honeys, if you don't secure this front part, it will start lifting and moving. And when you go to wrap that hair around it, it will tuck under there and make the pony uh, flimsy. So you, I'm pulling it kind of tautly to make it tight. And then I'm going to go in. Underneath everything, turn this needle sideways. The only way you're going to get it through. It came out right there. Because you don't want it to come out all the way up here anywhere because you got to secure that thread and it's going to drag that hair down. You see my little knot right there? You push that in taut to me. All right, that is tight. That is tight. So, if I wanted to tighten anything on this side or even in the back, I bring my needle around to that area and hit it, turn it to the side get up under everything and boom it came out right there through the back oh don't worry my honeys I ain't gonna cut y'all off show you know at this point of the video <laughs> some of the influencers would just go on to the next thing they've showed you enough okay they've wrapped it too many times they showed you enough no we need to see this to the end honey so we can get it. If I have any type of mess ups or mistakes, I want you guys to see that. So I'm just taking everything organized that's already sold down out the way and I'm bringing that around, making sure them tracks is flat. Now look, I'm picking this up, right? Where's my pen? That's why you have to stay organized and keep that pin where you can see it. There you go. Get that pin right on. Out the way. Because you will lose that pin, honey. And then it'll be like, uh, it gets frustrating. You'll be somewhere ready to <laughs> give up, pull this thing out. Look at my pin. Gotta do a pin check. Okay, I got to move all these hairs out my way and just keep wrapping. Okay, wait. I got stuck and confused and when you get stuck and confused, you just bring it back around and make sure you have all of this together. This is what's the remainder here. So therefore you could get everything out your way to wrap it boom then you grab it proceed yeah my honey so I am supposed to be going to Miami Florida I'm going on the 22nd, so I don't know. You guys probably will not even see this video until after I get back. But I'm trying to make the video now so that I could um, 
probably edit it while I'm out there, you know, and just get it on out. So that's what I'm trying to do. Oh, them arms, my honey. Jesus. It's always something when you're doing it all yourself, okay? Always. You get to a point you just want to be done with it, honey. You just start rapping. <laughs> Forget that pen. We just rapping, honey. And then you secure it at the end real good with your needle and thread. I feel like I want to secure that back. So I'm taking my needle from over here, but I'm wrapping it around the same way that the pony's going. I'm gonna secure this back. Needle got to be turned sideways. Get up under there. So I guess when you're actually putting your needle through at this point, you're just putting it through the previous tracks that has been tied down. You see what I'm saying? Because we know that them ones isn't going anywhere because we secured it. So you're just really connecting all of them together. I'm getting to the end of this thread. And I don't really want to have to do another one, but this is all I got left, so we good. We should be good. Pulling that taut. Oh, we got it all in, my honey. That's it. But guess what? I don't know where my needle is. <laughs> where is that dang gone needle? I lost it. I really, really lost it. And this is one whole bundle, so it looks pretty good to me. I lost the needle, my honeys. So at this point, I got to unwrap. I know it was back here somewhere. Look, there it go. Wasn't even lost. Okay, I found my needle. I'm proceeding. I really want to take this needle. Let me get up in now. I want to take this needle. And I want to go through that weft. The weft of your last track. And then I would want to wrap that thread around it three, four, to five, eight times to secure that. But guess what? My needle ain't long enough. So what I have to do now is take this needle and just cut it. I wrapped it twice. I wrapped it twice. If you want, though, I have enough needle to probably secure something down. With instead of wasting that string, so I'm gonna secure this right here. On the side, yep, so I can at least wrap that three times. Push down my little knot. Now we cutting that off. So like I said, you would have already your dang on needles ready, set go. <laughs> I thought I would add enough to finish that off. But I don't need that much, so I'm just... You know they got needle threaders. Basically, it just threads the needle for you. Because everybody can't see that tiny hole to, to get that needle. That would be the challenging part of this. <laughs> but then this, this needle itself is not that tiny. It, it has a bigger hole. So it just goes right through with a little force. I always, always lick my finger. Take it, wrap it around like that, and kind of 
kind of rub it like that. And boom. And there's my knot. So that's what I do for that. Now, this ponytail is in here, y'all. It's secure. But we have to secure down this one last piece, right? So you will take this last track. Take your needle and put it through that web. Like so. I'm just going to pull it all the way through because I got that knot on there. I want to know that I got it. Then I'm going to take this needle. We want this wrapped around, right? So, to secure it, we could take the needle and kind of pull that track tautly. And then just try to go somewhere in there to the side, somewhere underneath everything. I don't know where it came out at. See, it came out all the way over here. We don't want that. If you can help it now, we need to get it to go through one of these tracks. One of the tracks. I'm going to wrap this twice. Now, I'm going to go in on the last track back here and secure it down. So we pretty much got that secured. We can cut this thread out. You basically want to take it and comb it all the way straight up. Starting from the ends, of course. All that wrapping and twisting and turning, you got some hairs, you know, just, just in there that's not aligned, that's not straight. So I like to comb it straight up because when I go to wrap that thing, that's how it's going to be, straight up. Then you always take a piece of hair from the back. I think that one bundle was enough, to be honest. <laughs> and it's not even as long as I thought, but if I wanted it longer, my honeys, I would have did the extension pony. So when I take this piece and determine how I want it, I fake wrap it. It's gonna let me know if it's wide enough and you know cool. I wrapped it starting from that base and I moved my way up. Okay. And now my ball is all the way up here. So I could go higher if I wanted to. And then you would just take that last piece and got the bead spray and, and boom. But that's about right. I like that piece. It's thick enough. Once I put the spray on it, you know, everything will be aligned. And then my pony will hang just like this. Genie. Of course, we got a flat on it and everything. But now you got your piece coming from the back. You could start wrapping it either way either way okay just make sure your first exact wrap okay it's coming down around that track boom you can make it thick spread it on out long as it's covering up that track 
Then you will spray your guys to be. And then you come around, bringing it a little higher. Spray your guts to be, lock and load to come around. Spray your guts to be, lock and load it. And then boom, okay. Y'all probably wanna see me do that, huh? Oh wow. But when you spray that guys to be, make sure you got your blow dryer too, okay? Just kinda lock and load that in its place and then continue to wrap and lock and load. You can do it that way. If you don't do it that way, when you're completely done with it, you need to make sure you sit there and have it completely dry. Because the minute that you is not completely dry and you think you're about to go out like, hey, mind you, this is a, you know, a high ponytail, it will start crumbling and leaning and falling and looking dumb. So make sure it's dry, locked and loaded before that's that. So what I think I'm gonna do off camera, my honeys, is just go and flat iron everything out. I'm even flat on this pony, okay, and all of that before I even wrap the thing. Because I don't want to wrap the thing and then go flat on in the pony and it will start loosening my thing as well, okay? My little piece of hair wrapped around. So I'm gonna just go flat on everything. I need to flat on off camera and then I'll go back in and take out my little piece and then I'm gonna secure that with the Gosh the Beast spray and the blow dryer. And then by the time I take this out, all I have to do is kind of probably hit the ends again with the flat arm because it's going to be wrinkled and then the style is complete. So I'll be right back. Man. Yes, my honeys, I am feeling the whole look and I hate that I have to take it down in two days. <laughs> it's cute. The whole 18 inches came through. I do have a shirt on. Okay, it's one of those type of things, but um, leave me a comment below and let me know how you guys like it. I like it to the back, okay? I like it to the side. <laughs> okay, I feel like I can wear it on either side. I think it really favors this side though. Bring you some hair up from the back. It's wind flow. So I mean like whatever you do and you go, you know, whatever, it's flying in that wind, honey. So you go outside, that wind hits you perfectly, you just in slow motion all day for real, you know. I got our clips and I got hung gang over here. I hope it's not backwards. 
And then I got Oh Wow over here. So it just complements the look to me. And it, my accessories do not have to be real, okay? They're just some commercial type accessories, okay? They just bring out you for that day of whatever you're wearing, whatever you're doing. So I figured the ponytail would be hanging, you know, that wind flow a certain way over here, like shh, you're gonna see a hunking, okay? And both, y'all know I got the sledge clips as well, and then I have the zodiac sign ones, and everyone keeps saying, Oh, I can never find my sign. Well, right now I have every sign and go. So, all you gotta do at this point is go over to kaleshairandbeauty.com and check me out, see what I got. I am gonna do an unboxing video though, cause I know you guys wanted to see that, but we have the bonnets, okay? We have the head strips for the edges, lay them edges, okay? That's good for edges, wigs, whatever you're into, okay? You lay your strip on your head, honey, and then put your bonnet on and go to bed. The bonnets do not come off. The elastic is so good on them that they do, it doesn't slide off. It doesn't move around, shift, or anything. That's what I love about these bonnets. And I got baby bonnets. So, <laughs> they are the cutest. The bonnets are reversible. So, you can, you know, one side is black with the Kale's Hair and Beauty on there. And then the other side is gold. So, you know, the next order of bonnets, I'll switch up the colors. You guys, leave me a comment and suggest some colors for me. So, we can know what we trying to be slayed in, okay? Especially when we go on to bed and we don't want that bonnet to fall out. And if you get sick of wearing me on one side, just reverse it and just wear the gold side, okay? <laughs> Something like that. So the, the baby bonnets and the adult bonnets are both reversible. And if you thought that this video was helpful with a lot of good beauty tips, my honey, make sure you pick up your notebook and a pen so therefore you can take those notes, okay? This is the beauty tips notebook, okay? Instagram tips youtube tips things to do today because i have to write down schedules sometime for tomorrow because i wake up and then i forget i know when i go to walmart i have a whole list of things in my head of what i need and then i get there i am clueless and i bought a whole bunch of things that i didn't even come for so i write it down in my notebook and keep it moving we have the pens as well okay i just keep these two together and whenever i have a thought of something I come and run to my book and write it down. It's just a notebook. I showed you guys earlier. It's not a book book, a tell-all book, but it's a notebook for notes, okay? Especially for ones who needs the beauty tips and needs to write this stuff down step by step. So when you go try to recreate looks and do all of that, you got it right there in your hand. You're not worried or letting none of that bother you, okay? I ordered one of these off of Amazon before I had my own. And because I am a braider, so I needed it. And it was so fat. Like the tip. That tip was so fat. Look how skinny and fine that tip is. That's what braiders need. That's what we need. Okay. We need that the fine part. When it wasn't it was not helping me get good parts. Okay. So I don't even remember who I bought it from from Amazon, but you know, Amazon, that's my spot too, right along Walmart, but they could have kept that call. And when that happened, okay, I spent, um, I think I spent like $10, $11 for that call. Okay, mine's are $9, so, and you're going to get a better, better use of it versus that one. There's plenty of combs out here, my honeys, that would do just fine, but I'm just saying when I, when I see a need for something... I want to speak volume on it and this is very good for my braiders so it's on the website as well along with many other things but I don't want to go all into that for this video but just check it out it is lashes over there and um a couple other things so let me know my honeys you know oh and if you're wondering what the heck this is okay <laughs> it's a bracelet okay easy peasy I picked all the hair up Pulled it down over, adjusted it. I even threw some bobby pins in it to layer it how I wanted it because it just fell to the bottom like that. And I spread it out with the bobby pins. That was it, my honeys. It be the littlest things go a long way, okay? I will see my honeys on the next one. Uh, 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 uh. The next one. Uh, 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 uh.
<laughs> Bye guys, love you guys.